congratulations on the primary win. Thank you. Public service and public office. When did this become a goal? When did it become a dream? My goodness. I think um, early on, you know, when I first read scripture about a prophet named Joseph, who I'm named after, yeah. um, I said, is it possible? Mm. And of course, I was 16 at the time. And I kind of buried it and said, ah, you know, maybe, you know, and kept on trying to make sure that I didn't succumb to the pressure of what prison was trying to turn me into, which was a monster. Mm. And of course, years later now, here I'm looking back at that journey, the journey that I've come through, and I'm saying to myself, wow, all of the things that happened, every single piece, the good, the bad, the ugly, has prepared me for this moment right now. That life that was altered, that was, that was interrupted, arrested development, if you will, I wasn't supposed to be able to come out unscathed. Yeah. I mean, we still have indelible scars, of course, but at the same time, those scars allow me to be able to peer into the darkness, to understand where those pain points are for our people and say, you know what? I've been so close to the pain. We have to have a seat at the table. If we're not at the table, our lives are being decided for us. Therefore, we're on the menu.